These are simple Google Pixel tricks that will definitely elevate your experience whether you have been using the Google Pixel for a while or if you're new. If you're new, this tips will be even better. So let me go ahead right away and put you on with trick number one. The first thing that you gotta do, especially if you get a brand new Google Pixel phone, is get your battery percentage on your top right corner. Normally phones do not come with this feature on by default, but let me show you how to turn that on. In order to get the battery percentage on your Google Pixel 6a, just go to settings and go to battery and this option right in here where it says battery percentage, just toggle that on. And then after that, you're gonna be able to see your battery percentage on the top right of the phone. Having your battery percentage on is always a good idea, especially on the Google Pixels. The A series is known for having battery problems. So having an idea of how much battery I have is a really big deal for me at least. And for tip number two, since we're already in battery settings, if you go to adaptive preference, you know we gotta talk about adaptive battery and adaptive charging. Having these two settings on is a necessity if you wanna maximize the battery health of your Google Pixel 6a. Adaptive battery makes it so your phone only uses this apps whenever you really need to in order to save your battery and adaptive charging charges your phone really slow and it only gets to 100 right before your morning alarm so you can be super good when it comes to battery health like i said before google pixels tend to suffer from battery problems so you really want to do everything that you can to keep your battery healthy and with that being said let's go ahead and do tip number three the next trip that i'm going to show you guys is a party trick it's something that you can use to flex on people especially iphone users so a lot of people don't know this but on the google pixels you can actually switch in between between cameras just by shaking your hands. Let me show you. So right now I'm on the back camera and I just gotta shake twice and I come up, as you guys can see, I shake back again and I got the back camera again. Bonus tip as well, if you're on your home screen and you ever want your camera to come out super fast, you can just double tap the power button and your camera comes up super quick. That was a fun little trick that you can use to mess around or just flex on your friends. With that being said, let's go ahead and hit you guys with tip number four. For this one, I had to take out the old Samsung A13 5G just to show you guys about the menu. On Samsung phones, you have a three icon menu at the bottom of the phone. So you have the three lines that shows the apps that you have open on the background. You have the square one right in the middle that takes you home and you have an arrow that takes you back. The Google Pixels work with gestures. So if you're in an app and you hold up, you go home. If you open that same app and you swipe to the opposite side of the screen, it works as a back button. If you want the three button menu, you can actually get that on the Google Pixel as well. So just go to settings and on the search bar, type navigation. And as soon as you see system navigation, tap on it, then tap on it again. And then you're gonna see the option for the three button navigation. If you click on it, you're gonna see it. You get a one for back, one for home, and one for recent app. Now for tip number five, you can actually customize the color of your keyboard. As you guys can see, I have a nice purple gradient here. Let me show you guys how to get that. So on your keyboard, if you hit the gear button and then you go to teams, you get a whole bunch of teams that you can add to your keyboard. For example, the one that I'm using is the purple gradient. And for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and add this light gradient. We see it. We click apply, then we go back. And as you guys can see, the keyboard just changed color. This will be the last bonus tips, but you can add a whole row just for numbers on top of your keyboard. Let me show you. So if you're on your keyboard, hit the gear, then go to preference and this option, the first one where it says number row. If you activate this and you go back to your keyboard, you're gonna see that now you have a row just for numbers. Warning, this will make your keyboard look a lot bigger, but that's a way to fix this. Go into the gear again, go to preference and where it says keyboard height you can actually make it short or extra short i'm gonna go with extra short for the sake of the video then you go back and you can see that your keyboard looks a lot smaller so these are all the tips that i got for you guys today thanks so much for watching and comment if you want to see a part two there's actually more tips that i want to share so leave some comments and if you like the video make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video peace out